This is the Satiator from Professor Abrasive, a new optical disk drive emulator for the Sega Saturn. Well, it's not new, it's been available for a couple of months now, but only to Patreon supporters. But finally, as of this month, January 2021, it's gone on sale for the general public. And it comes in this lovely, but maybe not necessary, pink box with the panda on the front. Taking a look at the back of the box, we've got some information about it. But we don't care about that, we want to see the actual device, so let's open that box up. So inside the box we have just the device itself, and it comes in an anti-static bag, so that is good to see. So let's get a pair of scissors and open up this bag. As you can see the card itself has a lovely glitter effect embossed into the plastic and we also have the satiator name etched into the plastic as well. It looks quite smart and the general build quality does feel rather good. The PCB itself is a nice red color and as you can see the pins are very well laid out there lovely and clean as to be expected and on the top of the machine we have a micro USB in and the SD card slot. There's also a little pull tag to help you pull out the card once it's slotted into the video CD port. But what we need to do first is get the software onto this card. Let's go over to the PC. So the first thing you've got to do is go to the official Satiator website. Click on the getting started option on the left hand side. Now you will need two files. You will need the menu file and the firmware. Go to more details, firmware and menu. In here you will learn about needing the menu bin. Basically it's just one file you need to get. So for the SD cards any good brand will do. It's known that this will work up to a one terabyte card and beyond. Apparently there is no limit. I'm using a Transcend 256GB card. So installing the software is very simple. On the screen here you can see I've got the SD card over there, known as USB Drive F, and on the other side we've got the files. Just drag and drop the menu bin folder onto the USB card, as it is. Make sure it's in the root of the USB card. Now the Satiata firmware is zipped so you're going to have to unzip that, not a problem and just drag over the Satiator firmware file and also drop that into the root of the SD card and you're done. The software is now on the SD card so safely remove that and we're going to put it into the Satiator. So here we go plonking in the SD card into the Satiator and there are two ways you can update the firmware. One way is just to plug the Satiator into the Sega Saturn and power it on. Or you can just connect it to any USB power supply, well 5 volts, and it will automatically boot up the new firmware that way. It takes a few seconds, watch this. So we connect it in, we get a red light and three blinks of the green light, that's it. Firmware is done. Now the three blinks of the green light will keep flashing until you take out the power. But once it's blinked three green lights once, you can take out the power, it's done. And your satiator is now ready to be plugged into your Saturn and used. But before we can use the satiator, we need to put some software on it. So take out the SD card, put it into an SD card reader and connect it back up to your PC because you've got to put some ROMs on this thing. So as you can see on the left of the screen, I've put my ROMs into different categories. We've got homebrew, beaters, retail software and so on. The Satiator is extremely versatile and so easy to add software for. Basically, it's drag and drop. Now the Satiator does need certain types of file formats which you can see printed on your screen right there. As long as your game ROMs are in those formats, you haven't got a problem. Just drag and drop everything onto the SD card. To install the Satiator is very simple, but first you have to make sure that the Sega Saturn's battery is functional because if you have a flat battery, 
the Sega Saturn will always go to the setup screen and then the SATA 801 boot. So make sure you replace the battery. So as you can see my Sega Saturn has an Hitachi video card in the back of it because it's an Hitachi High Saturn. So that's got to come out. And you can also see that there is no battery in there. So we have to put in a brand new CR2032 battery. To put in the new battery is very simple. All you do is slot it into the battery holder and push it down. It will click into place. Once you have that new battery in there, just push in your satiata card until it clicks and you're good to go. So after switching on the Sega Saturn, once the satiata is plugged in, it will briefly go to the CD playing screen, but then it will fade out into the satiata's menu, as you can see. Now the menu is very very bare, but it is very easy to use and quick. So the C button will go back menus and the A button goes forward. It also features the ability to flash an action replay card, if you got one plugged into your Sega Saturn that is. Using the system is very very simple and very easy. There's nothing to go wrong. Games load just as quick as a normal CD. Maybe a little bit quicker, but not by much. Now you may be wondering, can you still play disc games even though the Satiator is installed in the machine? Of course you can, watch this. We'll put in data on the USA, we'll close the lid, we'll press the power button and the machine will boot up. Hi guys, you can see me in the screen. And Daytona will come on. Watch this. Okay, CD is loading. See, we get the normal Sega splash screen and the game will come on. There you go. Daytona. And if you want to go back to the Saturnate screen, no problem. We can just do the pad reset like this. Open the disk drawer and the Saturnate screen will boot. Look at that. So let's move up a little bit there so you can see that. And from here, we can choose any game whatsoever. Let's pick Chill and it will load seamlessly back into the SD card. Perfect. All right. Now you may also be wondering, can you go back to the CD game from here? Well, that I haven't tried. So um, let's give that a try. Let's do the pad reset. Oh, actually, what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to close the door. For some reason, the CD is still spinning. So I'm gonna close the door. Pad reset, that's A, B, C and start for those who don't know. Ah, it says there's no Sega Saturn disc in the machine. All right, let's go out, back into the actual machine. No, okay. So you do have to press reset to get the disc to boot back up. But that shouldn't be such a hardship. Let's see if this is gonna boot. No, okay. So to get a CD game to rerun after visiting the cartridge, you've got to do a whole power cycle and that should get the game to run. Let's check it out and see what happens. There we go, back on. So there you have it, that is the Satiator for the Sega Saturn, a very good optical disk drive emulator. Now it does cost more than the mode and other options, but I think this is the best one because it allows you to keep your original drive and you can still use original games. So if you don't want to gut your working Sega Saturn, this is the one to get.